Came out to the shop today to demonstrate an issue that I'm having with a bass guitar that I purchased recently at a chain guitar store that shall remain nameless. And, and anyway, I wanted to get the bass playing community's input on what's going on with it because it was the only bass in my price range that I enjoyed playing when I was at chain store and when I went back to chain store to return this bass which I could still do for another like 30 days or so uh, I did not have any of these problems and we plugged it into not this amp but the same kind of amp and we used a bad quality cable that they had lying around and I did not experience any of the noise problems when I took my bass over to Chain Store to try it. Nor did I experience any of those problems before I bought it. I wouldn't have bought it. Let's get to it. Here's my amp. It's like a Rumbler 40 from Fender. And uh, when I turn the amp on, it does not really make any noise by itself. So I can turn it all the way up. And it has a little bit of hiss. But that static sound is not the noise that I'm worried about. Alright, when I plug into the bass and I turn the amp up, I get a much louder sound at a much lower volume. And the sound changes a little bit as I move the bass around, but it does not change based on whether I'm touching the strings or not, or the, the bridge, or the cable. Right, this is a bad 60 hertz hum. Now it does sort of go away when I Turn the volume down. And it changes when I change the pickup mix. Alright, when I go to that pickup, it's not so bad. But when I start to mix in this one, I get more hum. And then the EQ as well. affects it. And that high frequency hiss, that's excessive over what the amp is producing by itself. So the guitar is producing both of those sounds. And now, I tested all the grounding and everything between the strings, even all the way up to the uh, tuning keys. Everything is connected really well to all the pots and everything inside. Um, on the inside of the bays, there is a little bit of shielding uh, on the back plate. So on the back plate there is some kind of conductive metal, but there's no shielding inside this cavity or behind the pickups or in the battery cavity. Um, by the way, I do have a new battery here, so I know that's not the issue. And yeah, I just I just really don't know what to do. I don't know if I should go to the effort of trying to shield this guitar, knowing that it really only produces this noise at my house and it doesn't do it when I'm at unnamed chain store. <laughs> so yeah, I would really like some input on what folks think I should do about that because it's very frustrating to get this noise when I'm trying to record. Really looking for some advice here on what I should do.